Billionaire inventor Elon Musk introduced the concept of the Hyperloop in 2013, describing a low-pressure tube in which levitating capsules carry passengers at about 760 miles an hour, or nearly the speed of sound. San Francisco to Los Angeles, a nearly 400-mile trip, would take 35 minutes, he said. Most people were skeptical, but two groups of engineers got to work. Those two companies are now locked in a high-stakes race featuring big-name advisors, 11-foot diameter steel tubes, and magnets that can crush hands. Hyperloop Technologies and rival Hyperloop Transportation Technologies say they've held talks with governments in more than 10 countries, including China, India, and the UK, toward building a Hyperloop by 2020, suggesting others also see real prospects in the once fanciful idea. Meanwhile, more than 300 other teams are designing Hyperloop capsules for a competition this year, run by Mr. Musk's commercial space firm, SpaceX. The Hyperloop companies will have to solve major technical, commercial, and regulatory challenges that will likely determine whether the Hyperloop is the next railroad or the next Concorde, the supersonic jet that airlines retired in 2003 because of its high costs. Still, the companies are forging ahead. Hyperloop Technologies is building a test track north of Las Vegas to test its propulsion system, and Hyperloop Transportation is awaiting building permits in Central California to start constructing a five-mile track that it aims to carry people by 2018.